Hello everyone and welcome to the class. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com and today I'm going to be teaching all of you how you can very easily extract and save voicemail messages off your iPhone and bring them onto your computer. This technique works with both Mac and Windows, so PC users, don't worry, this works for you as well. Now, this technique can be used far beyond just voicemail messages. It can be used to recover photos, music, and really get into the nitty-gritty data that makes up your iDevice, no matter what it is, whether it's an old iPod or if it's a iPod Touch, an iPad, etc. To do this, you're going to need a fairly simple piece of software, which is called iExplorer, and I have it right here for you. The website to get iExplorer is macroplant.com. I will have a link, of course, in the description of the video. But it is $34.99 for the software for a single license, which is what probably most people out there are going to end up needing. And it does work on the latest operating system for the Mac known as OS X Yosemite. So no worries if you've just upgraded. Let me show you how it works. Now forgive me, because you're about to see my phone, there's going to be some elements of the screen that are going to be blurred out. When you first plug in your iPhone and launch iExplorer, this is going to be the kind of screen you're going to see. And I'm going to walk you through how to get into the actual voicemail messages. Normally, you're going to be actually on this tab here, this media tab. Uh, what I need you to do is go here where it says data. And from here, you're going to click on where it says voicemail. Now, the first time you do this, it's going to have to run a backup. It's going to take a few minutes to go through all the data on your phone, but just be patient. It doesn't take more than two to three minutes or so. From here, you'll see a list of all of the different voicemails, not just the, one that are, the ones that are currently in your voicemail inbox, but also ones that you've recently deleted that just haven't cleared out quite yet. So you can click on any voicemail message that you would like to retrieve, and you can click down here at the bottom to export the selected file to somewhere on your computer, and that way you can keep it safe. Alternatively, you can also hit export all, although I don't know why very many people would want to do that. This is David A. Cox with PCClassesOnline.com. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you happen to be watching us on YouTube, we uh, really do appreciate if you click that little thumbs up like button. And please, if you want to find out about all of our videos, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is, after all, free. That's all, everyone. Class dismissed.